Let's hear from Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you as a live and exclusive on Sky Sports to uh, London Arena to Championship Boxing, promoted uh, by Frank Fourth Network Europe. Our first contest this evening is a light welterweight contest of three minute round. Introducing in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, and coming from Nottingham, weighing 10 stone, 5 pounds, one professional contest, the result of the win by knockout. Will you please welcome uh, Rewand uh, Halish? <laughs> His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the all or red trunks, coming from Wolverstone, weighing 10 stone. And a quarter pound, unbeaten as a professional in the contest. Bruce is coming by way of KO. Please welcome Martin Holiday. Holiday <laughs> looking to make 10 straight throws tonight. He's in front of the heavy team, Van McCrory. And thank you very much for all. Yes, sir. Martin Holgate. Unbeaten so far. But, uh, to really rip up any tree. But he keeps the other fellow on the right is quite interesting. Uh, Gawed fight, but as an amateur he was an AVA champion and uh, on his debut he stopped Richard and Ketty fight of him as a professional. Comes in the very same area as Errol Graham, the Stanford area of Black Colgate coming from Walton Stone, Walton in red. Usually South Kenyan Colgate, and the next uh, mild style. I was going to say haircut. Doesn't have any <laughs> hair, is there? Yes, they're obviously the middle of college athletes. Put him in with Colgate so early in his career, so he must he must have shown a fair bit of ability in the gym. wins. Only three have come by your knockout so far. So he is not the biggest puncher around. And that's maybe why they decided to, to put, uh, put Kaliki in that little bit early. But the whole game made steady progress, if, if not spectacular. Holgate is in fact only a year older. Than the fact that it's only Kaliki's second pro fight, Kaliki's 27. Holgate 28. Holgate flirted with a move up to welterweight from light welterweight, but this one he's weighing 10 2 and a quarter, which is a couple of pounds above the light welterweight limit, near a light welterweight and welter. Well, Holgate's making the, the better start. He's, he's slipping into his smooth and he's getting off with his punches pretty early. Yeah, so far in his career, Holgate's looked quite competent and neat, but hasn't really caused anybody to get too excited about him as yet. Maybe that's a change. Yes, maybe so. I mean, maybe this is uh, a bigger test, uh, a bigger occasion to, to, to bring better way out of him. Pretty low profile build up so far for Holgate. So a little bit of exposure for him in front of the cameras tonight. Good left hand. Here and Kalik in this opening round. Well, Kalik just snapping with his punches a little bit where, where Holgate's got a much more fluid style and letting his punches go much more relaxed. And the lovely, smart, sharp jab from Holgate. Just looking much more and rounded as a pro than a colleague, as you might expect in this opening round. Good start, this by Martin Holgate. Easily his first round. Rena, we have what could be a very exciting Columbian. 
now we have what could be a very welcome back live to the London field. Arena. Oh, we have well away the very exciting Scottish Creed defending his title. This evening, Paul Scrap Iron Ryan, who's always an exciting side. Live in the ring at the moment, you're looking at Martin Holgate from Walthamstow up against Jawaid Tati from Nottingham from the Brendan Ingle camp, the ever genial Brendan Ingle camp. Surprised he manages to fit them all in that gym these days. I'm sure he has to stagger the work of out times. There's certainly a lot of fighters up there. The whole gear made a, a good start in the first round. Nice rhythm. Slipped, slipped into his boxing very well and was landing much better punches. Oh, let him go. Sharp right hand from him. And again, that's an even better one. Cracking punch that was from Holgate. And this is looking as if it might be something of an ambitious matchup for Charlie's people to put him in with Holgate this early, at the moment anyway. Well, he is obviously a, a decent athletic and you can see he's got really very much in that amateur style, the upright, jerky with his punches. Yeah, Holgate's got that much better rhythm. very correctly behind his jab and staying busy even on the inside where Charlie needed to hold on. He's starting to let the leather fly more in this round as well, Holgate. Good right hand. That was Charlie's probably his most effective punch so far. Nothing with a right hand. Charlie Mouse switching to the south force stance, leading with his, his right hand first and then back to orthodox again about it for about 10 seconds and then seemed to think better of it. Maybe he, it was a sign that he was a little bit worried about the way things were going, that he was trying something different. Yeah, I think maybe he's not, now's maybe not the chance to try something too different. He's got to really start getting his boxing together and start landing some decent punches on Holgate. Holgate did have to get off the floor when he beat uh, fellow prospect Andy Stevens at Norwich in March. But again, he prevailed on that occasion. Didn't look too good last time against Gary Hiscock. But he's looking better here. Can Carly get into this? There may still be time for him. Well, very tall, very rangy. Just starting to use the jab a little better now. But up till then, it wasn't really using that, that height and that reach. Just one or two signs in this round that Carly is beginning to get into the contest. Yes, he's done a, a little more in this round. He started to push Holgate on the, the back foot and not give Holgate the, the time that he had in the, in the first round. It's better from Carly, but I think Holgate still about won the round. 